In this video, we're going to take a look at how to import an existing site that comes from a live server. So imagine that you have a live site and you want to pull it down and make some changes and push it back. Keeping in mind, of course, that any content that changes on the live server while you're working would get wiped out. But you can still pull down the site, work on individual files, and just push back those files. Let's take a look at how to do that. Before we get started, I want to take a look here at the serverpress.com website. This is the list of capabilities. The premium version can import backup files from all of these services. Backup Buddy, Duplicator, BackWP Up, Backup WordPress, Infinite WP, and Manage WP, as well as its own export files. So if you have any of these plugins currently running on your live site, all you need is a backup file from one of them and you can import it directly into desktop server. Now before we get started, I'm actually going to remove the two sites that I have now. There, now I actually have no websites set up. But you can see here on my desktop, I have a zip file that I created in an earlier video. We're going to import that one. So we go to Export, Import, or Share. Import is our only option because we don't have any sites live at the moment. And then we browse to the import file. I can make up a site name, and the site root right now is set to my desktop. I don't want it to go there. So I'm going to put it into my sites folder and hit next. There. Now I can go to cv.dev, and there's my site pulled in from my live server. 